I'm going to go over how to arrange the app a little differently. So right now, uh, coming off of our last time, we've got the color sliders and the values kind of separated from each other. What we'd really like to do is to put them together and even have them clearly labeled and indicated. To do that, we make use of layout. So when we drag a layout component, we can pick a horizontal or a vertical arrangement. I'm going to make use of a horizontal arrangement and drag this onto the screen. So then what I'm going to do is begin by adding a label to it. So we will make the name of this label blue and we'll put the blue components here up at the top. So I'm going to start by putting the slider in there. And then I'm going to grab the text box and put that in there. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the others. So I'm going to go back to layout, grab a horizontal arrangement, and then grab a label from user interface. And this one, I'm going to name green and then we'll put the green slider in there and the green text box in there and then we'll do the same thing for red so i'm going to grab a horizontal another horizontal arrangement then another label and we're going to go ahead and change the text of that label to be red. And we will move the slider, the text box up in there. And then let's uh, do a couple other little modifications. Text fields normally allow input. That's not really what we want to do. We want them to just be ways of displaying information. So I'm gonna mark each one as read only. And related to that, text boxes can include hints, suggestions of what these are supposed to put in there. There's no real need for that. So I'm gonna delete the hint. I'm gonna do the same thing for these other two. So make it read only, and get rid of the hint. And then finally, do the same for the last one. Make it read only. And there we are. So there is no functional difference between what this app does and the version of the app that we looked at in the previous video. Uh, they work exactly the same way. Uh, they just look different. And that look can be really, really important because it means that the meaning of the text boxes and the sliders and so forth becomes a lot more obvious when you're playing around with it and, and so forth. Now, there are a couple other little modifications that we'll need to make. So first, um, we want the horizontal arrangements themselves to fill the, the width of the screen. And so I'm going to modify each of them accordingly. So I'm going to click on the horizontal arrangement. I'm going to select the width to be fill parent. And yeah, do that for all three of them. You might have noticed the widths were a little uneven as determined by the different sizes of the um, labels that were used because the names differ ever so slightly. And so, you know, once you do that, um, it looks quite a bit better. So there it is. I encourage you to go and try it out. And I think you'll find that to be a lot more usable and a lot more legible. So play around with it, and I strongly encourage you to think carefully about making good use of layouts to better structure your, uh, your
your applications. I think you're going to find that to be really, really useful.